Welcome to another vlog of training for the Atlantic City Marathon. This video corresponds to the week of September 16th to the 22nd. We are four weeks out. I am a little bit of a basket case. I'm going through a lot of stress and you will find out more about all of that in this video. Oh, and I also tried new shoes. Will these be my marathon shoes? Welcome to Iron Things. Well, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Susie, and I am the host of I Run Things. Ah, after being 10 days in Spain and kind of falling off the wagon in terms of my training, this week started on a good note and ended up in a not so good note. But I guess we all go through these ups and downs. I think it's the nature of being a recreational runner who has a lot of other commitments. In my absence, I received this beautiful Mount to Coast S1 shoes. And I have to say, so far, so good. They're really, really pretty. I love the design. These are supposed to be for training runs. The other pair that I already own are supposed to be for racing and most specifically for long races. We're talking about ultras that last hours and hours and hours. I am planning on doing a review and comparison of both models, so stick around for that. Good morning. It's Tuesday, I didn't film anything at all yesterday. So update on the property we are attempting to buy in Madrid. We know there were three bids and two of the bids were at the same price, ours and another one. So the realtor asked if we wanted to up our bid. And ultimately, it was a quick decision. We decided not to because we didn't want to start a bidding war. And we knew that could potentially like get the process going forever <laughs> with us outbidding each other. So we were serious with our bid and that was it. So so we are not going to know. I We have the feeling that they went back to the other family and asked them to outbid us because they the realtor got back to me and said that they, the owner was gonna make a decision Thursday. So, we'll know Thursday. It's gonna be in this video and you're gonna know as well. But I don't think we're gonna get it. Because they said Thursday, I think the other family's trying to find additional funding. That's my gut. So, yeah. And today we have six miles. I'm listening to music. Spotify is giving me 30 minutes of uninterrupted music without commercials. And it's a good day when that happens. So I'm gonna start this run. I keep getting messages from my husband. Anyway, let's get this done. Oh, and I got new shoes, as you saw. Their design is so pretty. I hope they're comfortable because I'm loving my Mount Coast shoes, guys. These and the other ones were sent to me for free just to give my opinion about them. I love my R1s, these are the S1s. So these are supposed to be for training. The other ones are supposed to be for racing. They're different, they're completely different shoes. It's interesting because these seem more sporty in a way, but let's see how they feel when I run. Let's start running, six miles, easy. And look at this guy, he's super close. What happens if I get even closer? They don't But okay, now, <laughs> now we moved. <laughs> Poor thing, I'm stressing him out. Okay, I keep having to pull back because they want me to run a little bit too fast. For I mean, this should be an easy run, so yeah. Oh, that was a fantastic run but my husband is at the Spanish consulate in New York City right now and he's texting me with questions and I had to stop, stop the clock and now I'm gonna be late for work. Man, okay, way to start the week guys. But I love these shoes. Okay, also the thing for the camera is broken. So you're kind of wiggly out there. Good morning, yellow me, I know. Today we are trying the Mount to Coast S1 again, but we are going to be doing miles at Marathon Base. I am super tired, guys. My heart rate is, has spiked the last since we landed, maybe like the last three nights. I don't know why, but um, I don't know if I'm coming down with something, which would not be good this week, because it's gonna be 
we are ramping up the mileage this week it wouldn't be good at all but i have to go into the office today as well generally i'm feeling tired and it's just the stress of obviously putting the bid for the apartment in madrid and, and all that i'm gonna try the shoes for the marathon because i think this could be marathon shoes to you guys 64 degrees outside my phone is on its last leg i need to buy a new phone and my garmin is also on its last leg like the battery is not lasting what it should last i am thinking about taking it to there's a place here where they replace batteries i'm thinking about thinking about taking it to get replaced because then i could get a little bit more juice out of it okay let's get it going okay folks let's do it i think it might be a little bit over dressed i'm gonna be hot i can take this off but yeah i'm tired by the way guys drink every time i say i am tired during this video because there's more of that Done. I'm glad I stuck with it because the first two miles were not good. But then I managed to run the next three marathon pace. I did two easy, three marathon pace, one easy. Okay. Okay, good morning guys. Rushed morning. I just did 45 minutes of DECA specific training. Oh, I skipped a week of strength and oh, it's hard to go back to it. And now we are gonna go for a run. We're gonna do intervals. We're gonna be short to keep our speed, our legs sharp if we can because right now they're screaming at me <laughs> so we'll see <laughs> okay 3 by 30 3 by 60 3 by 30 and now i think it's 90. i'm not sure actually <laughs> these are extremely hard if you do them after strength training man i can't i don't know how many more we have i'm not gonna deny it these were really hard now we have to cool down so it was 60s 30s 90s 20s that's what it was Sort of like a Mani Getty, but in reverse. Sort of, not quite. Yeah. Oof, okay. Let's run. Let's jog back home. Okay, so tomorrow I think we're gonna do six miles with strides at the end with six strides and I might just rest Saturday because Sunday we have a 20 miler with I think it's with 12 at marathon pace I think it's gonna be hard so yeah I think tomorrow we're gonna do easy with strides at the end and that's it Saturday, if I could get in the gym, like a day pass for the gym, I'd probably practice the erg on the Ross, the rolling machine, because I'm gonna need that for Deca. So, yeah. Okay. Let's take a shower. I have to go into the office today. Okay, guys. You are in a bad angle, as always. 
I was looking for this yesterday, the whole day, and I could not find it. I need it's in my bag, my work bag. Okay, wrapped up in, and let's head out, shall we? Man. This is even a worse angle. I fixed it. Um. Okay. Let there be light. We're going to work, you guys. I look super tan. I don't know why. Okay. Same skirt. Same difficulty getting in. But now. My glutes are on fire from yesterday. Oof. Okay, we're going to work. I left you here yesterday and we appear the next morning in the same exact spot. I am so stressed, you guys, because I didn't update you yesterday, but we got the apartment. The one we put a bid on that I thought we were not gonna get, we got it. I am so excited and, and so stressed. And oh, so. We are looking at signing the um, contract, you know, being under con we're under contract already. And we are looking at, you know, getting all the funds and the house is probably, well, the house, the flat, it's an apartment. It's gonna be ours probably sometime in October. So that's exciting, you guys. Yeah, it's very exciting. And oh, it's such a nice, it's such a nice place we told. Um, our son last night and he was so excited as well so yeah we're gonna be homeowners if all goes well well there's always something till you sign and you get your deed and everything it's not yours so but yeah it should be ours change of cars you guys because my um, Honda Civic did not have enough gas well it did have gas but I didn't want to have to stop and get gas. So this happens to me a lot. Does it happen to you too? Leave me a comment below. Do you run on low on your tank? This, I mean, I can't believe I am 50 years old. I've only run out of gas once in my whole life. And it was an experience that I did not learn from because I've been like towing the line. I tow the line every time. Like I always run the my tank till five or four miles so yeah yeah I'm an expert in these matters <laughs> anyway so I'm driving my sons he asked me to move it at some point anyway because it's been well we've only used it once since he left it for college so so it's a good thing and this is the first time it happens to me but I'm so stressed I missed the exit for work and I am turning around the next exit and just picking it back up this is gonna derail me another 10 minutes. Good morning, guys. I'm listening to a video by Phoebe Bowden. I'm a huge fan of hers. Who isn't? And I'm getting ready to go for my 20 miler. I don't know how this is gonna go, okay? Let's frame it that way. It's supposed to be four easy, four marathon base, four easy, four marathon base, four easy. Eight miles of marathon base. It's gonna be bad. I am so tired. Yeah, I didn't sleep well. I woke up super early. I am distressed with, um, you know, logistics for our apartment. <sighs> yeah, I need to just tune it out and relax and try and get this run done. So let's get ready. Okay. And we're out. I actually was talking to one of my neighbors. He was walking his dog. He said, he was asking me about how much I run. And I asked him how much he, because he runs too, I've seen him. But he says he keeps getting injured. So he doesn't run as much as he used to. He tried. Okay, let's see how this goes, guys. Yeah, I'm 
walking around like some cover the year. I'll pet mess the place like Tame with the heat. Okay, guys. So, two weekly vlogs ago, I talked about the handmade Tale. We are in season three. And I can't wait to hear more about the back story of the commander where she, you know, the house of the commander where she sat right now, June. Because it seems like that's gonna be a juicy story. So I'm really liking the show right now. I think we are season three, episode five or something like that. So. Tell me how you like if you watched it and if you like it, comment below. But don't give out spoilers, please. Okay. Let's get going. When you realize life is not what it seems when you realize, yeah. When you step back, see where the fear lies, yeah. Have I have four of these today, plus other stuff. So, hopefully, we have enough. These are energy gels. You can itch, you guys. In case you want to try them, they have zero grams of sugar. Yet they are all carbohydrates. So they're made of a fucking concoction of rice and other stuff. Mm. Okay. Done. I'm shaking, you guys. I'm sorry. That's the share my orb in a poem. Guys, I'm so tired I feel if I stop I could fall asleep standing. It's bad. We're gonna try and salvage this run eating this thing. I think this is the one that um, my friend Carol sent me. Yeah, I have another one that my friend April sent me that's made out of cricket, cricket flour. I don't think this one is cricket flour. Mm. I'm starving, I'm tired. I don't know what's going on with me today. Okay, I had half, and now I'm gonna use the bathroom. And after this, we're gonna start our four miles at marathon base. Cross your fingers, pray for me. So I wasn't ready for the 20 miler. I'm actually gonna be doing a 14 miler. Man, going up this hill, and I am so tired, guys. I don't have any ounce of like energy in me. It's all this stress and if I continue being distressed, I am gonna have to downgrade from the marathon to the half marathon in Atlantic City. Because obviously I need to put a long run. I, my longest long run, I put two 18 milers, but I should have been able to put a 20 miler today. I didn't. And I need to. At least put another 18 miler, guys. At least. So, if that doesn't happen, I, I, I don't think I wanna run a marathon because I'm just not gonna do, not gonna post a good time, so. Just downgrade to the half and call it a day, but I'm not ready to say that yet. We'll see how this way goes. Yeah, yesterday, whew, yesterday we ordered my phone, my new phone. So, and I also need to replace the battery on my Garmin because it's dying constantly on me as well so but i feel like my legs are gonna give give out and i'm just gonna fall on the ground that's how tired i am 
been feeling this tired since mile seven. So, okay, Oof. man, it's not even that hot. It's like 70, it's 70. It's really not that hot. Man, okay. This is really not a good sign, guys. It's not a good sign. Garmin has been telling me that I'm like really stressed for a good 10 days now. <laughs> Saying, you need to rest, you need to rest, you need to rest. So, you can't perform if you're not well rested, so yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Okay. Oof, the breeze feels awesome. So I just saw a house with the front lawn. They had both signs for Trump 2024 and Harry's 2024. I want to be in those conversations in the house and at the kitchen table when they're discussing politics. I bet it's interesting. Yeah, you guys, this was not the week that I wanted to have after being in Spain and really winging my runs for a full nine days. So. I started on the right track, but I ended up, like I said in the intro to this video, on not such a good track. As of today, as of filming this video, I think I'm leaning towards downgrading to the half marathon. But on the other hand, because I am running the Trans Gran Canaria, which is 52 miles, and it's in February, I think I really should do the, the full marathon because then I would be almost using it as a training run. because. As soon as I finished running Atlantic City Marathon, I was planning on just taking one week off and then continuing training for the ultra. I think I am 70% leaning towards just downgrading to the half and the other 30% staying, sticking with the full marathon. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. For those of you who've been following me for a little bit, you know what I should do. I can't guarantee that I will follow your guys' advice, but I will take it into consideration because I know you guys know what you're talking about. So I love this community. What do you guys think I should do? And this is it, you guys. Thank you for accompanying me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe on my face if you're not subscribed already. And here you have last week's video in case you want to watch it. Run fearlessly, guys. Bing!